What's up everyone, Kita Sean here. So it's gonna be a quick little video about the upcoming rerun event that just got announced not too long ago. Dead Heat Summer Rays Light version for the JP version of Fate Grand Order. The event will start on the 27th of Japan time and then will end on uh, July 13th. So basically, literally right after uh, the Guda Guda event number 3, this will start. Which is kinda, kinda bad for people's wallets because that means a whole bunch of swimsuit servants will be coming back in the gacha but according to this article here it says that dead heat summer race is going to be a lot funner and a, a little bit easier as well so um it is a light version which they usually do that for all their events uh personally i wasn't really a big fan of this event but it was kind of fun to see the interactions with all the servants in this event so uh story wise it's not bad uh gameplay wise eh. <laughs> but uh wow this is actually uh kind of nostalgic right here these uh, little uh, uh, race cars <laughs> but um, scrolling down a little bit uh, this is all the event details gasoline basically event items that you can you can use to you know go faster uh, but yeah all the CEs the CE arts actually look really nice in this event so I think they're definitely worth uh, the, uh, the collection uh, other than that, of course, Ishtar Rider is going to come back as a free 4-star Rider. Uh, definitely worth it, in my opinion. I think she's actually a really good Rider. Not only that, uh, her animation, uh, attack animation, and her Noble Phantasm animation is really cute. Plus, it's Ishtar. A lot of you guys really want the uh, limited Ishtar, which uh, is the Archer version. So, um, yeah, I mean, you can get Ishtar as a Rider as well. So, definitely try and pick her up. But, uh, scrolling down a little bit, I think this is what we're all looking forward to. The swimsuit gotcha pickup. Uh, this is part one. Part two, we're not exactly sure when it's going to release, but most likely it will release before the event ends. So, um, looking at it, we have Nero Caster, who is a five star Berserker, Nobunaga, four star Frankenstein, four star Saber, and Little Chris Assassin. All of them are really, really good, especially uh, a Nero Caster. I mean, she's a really good AoE caster, plus, she's an attack caster. So uh, I think Nero is just worth the roll already. Uh, Nidal Chris and Frankenstein, they're not the best servants in this gacha, but they are actually really fun to use. And Nobunaga is actually a really cool berserker as well. I, I think I really, really like her out of the four here. Plus, I don't have her, so I'll definitely be rolling for this gacha just to get her. Uh, if I get a second uh, Nero, that'd be awesome, but Nobunaga is definitely the uh, target servant for me. But if we scroll down a little bit, this is the schedule for the uh, the gacha. So, day one, 27 through... Uh, sorry, part one uh, gacha. Um, the days 27 through 29, it's going to have all four. And then on the 30th, it's going to have Frankenstein and Nero. It looks like Nero is going to be up in all of them, so you don't have to really worry about her. But uh, day, uh, part two for this part one gotcha, or day two, I guess you can say, for this part one gotcha is Frankenstein. And then uh, on the on the first, it's Nidal Chris. And then on the second, it's Nobunaga. And then on the third through fifth, it'll go back through that pattern, which it'll bring back all four. And then Frankenstein, Nidal Chris, and Oda, Oda Nobunaga. So yeah, um, the gotcha is definitely worth the roll, I think. In my, I, I, I really believe this is actually worth the roll, so definitely roll this if you can. But other than that, remember there is a part 2 gacha coming out that has like Mama Raiko and uh, who was the 5 star in that one? I forgot. Oh yeah, uh, uh, Saber Alter Rider. So uh, I, I do believe uh, both gachas are worth the roll. So yeah, that's basically about it. Of course the CEs as well. They are, they're really good looking CEs and um, they're actually not too bad as well. So definitely I think it's worth the roll to roll for just CEs as well. So yeah, um, that's basically about it. Like it's just a little quick video to tell you that Dead Heat Summer Race is coming back. And um, I'm, I'm pretty sure we're going to have um, another a swimsuit event after this as well. I think they're gonna give us a little breathing room after this event because I literally thought they're gonna give us a little breathing room after uh, Guda Guda 3, but they didn't. So uh, literally right after Guda ends, they're gonna throw this in and then maybe they'll give us like a little breathing room and then boom, uh, event number three. So if not, uh, many are actually saying that they're gonna bring out chapter two for Lost Belt after this. And then after Lost Belt chapter two, it's gonna be uh, beach event number three so I actually would be really happy with that so um, but yeah that's basically about it thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed 
which servant are you looking forward to from the gotcha if you guys have a specific servant that you guys really want go ahead and comment down below and tell me but yeah I'm, i'll be rolling for nobu and uh, if i get a second narrow that's awesome or a second anyone from this gotcha that'd be awesome but yeah thanks for watching see you guys in the next one laters